I have to turn it this way. It won't. Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Clair of Assisi Church here in St. Clair, Pennsylvania, where we've just concluded our Apple Fest, our Apple Dumpling Fest. We'd like to thank all of you who patronized our activities over the, the past two days. We're very grateful for your kindness. We're very grateful to the folks that donated prizes uh, and the gift cards and the lottery tickets, which we will be drawing just in a moment. I am Father Bill Glosser. I am the pastor here of St. Clair of Assisi. And I am Joellen Guy. Joellen is one of the people that organizes our Fall Fest, our Apple Dumpling Fest. So the two of us are, are going to be pulling prizes along with the help of Ms. Braylon Strankowski and also Mr. John Fox. Before we go into the actual pulling of the numbers, we want to thank our wonderful kitchen crew. Uh, which provided hot roast beef, homemade hot roast beef platters and homemade cut pan cut french fries throughout the entire event. Close to 500 platters were sold and we'd like to thank Elaine Uberti and her crew for doing such a fabulous job with such a delicious hot roast beef dinner. We'd also like to thank uh, Ann Bridget McCormick and her crew which made over some 500 apple dumplings. We were hoping to have many to be able to sell here over the past two days, but because of the popular demand uh, for both the hot roast beef sandwiches and the apple dumplings, sadly to say, uh, we were all sold out, but that was met with a great success with almost close to over 5,000 orders being fulfilled. We'd like to uh, thank all the people that have been here over the last two days, especially in the midst of the COVID epidemic, to uh, help us work. Uh, we've been trying to make things clean and proper, and so we're very grateful to all of those people for all of your donations and everything else. Uh, our, uh, our uh, thinking of a word here, uh, our, our, we have a panel of people to uh, verify that uh, all the actions that you're seeing on tape at home uh, are accurate, and we have uh, Debbie Filiak. We have Kathy Guzik, we have Jane Kern, we have Marianne Durant, and we have Chris Romanko, who will be making sure that all the prizes are properly dispersed and that our record keeping is accurate. So I want to thank these ladies and these men to be with us. And now we have Ms. Braylon Strykowski, who will make the turn of the drum, please. Okay. 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 Turn it. Okay. So if your number is not picked, it's all Braylon's fault. Oh, <laughs> Come over here, Braylon. And Jen, what is our first prize? What is number one? The Ryobi battery powered lawnmower. Okay, we have the Ryobi battery powered lawnmower, which Mr. Fox is his hand on down here. Uh, it's for those wonderful, you don't need an extension cord. Uh, you just plug in your battery and it makes grass cutting rather easy. Uh, even though grass cutting season's over, a fabulous little thing to have, compact, especially if you don't have much grass. So, Ms. Krakowski, will you please draw a number, please? And the number is 1,018. 1,018. Raymond, don't walk away. We've got to make sure you're, you're good here. Actually, here, you take this over and put that with the ticket. Okay. So that the girls put it with the ticket. Okay, and you can come back here. And do we have a winner? Row. Row. Park. 
R-H-O-D-E. The winner is Rode, R-H-O-A-D. Okay, congratulations, a wonderful Rohobi battery operated lawnmower. And let's do prize number two. Jan, what is prize number two? Uh, Sun, Sunjo electric pressure washer. Okay, we got a wonderful thing. Everybody likes uh, pressure washing today. We have an electric pressure washer, so you don't have to, you're not mechanically inclined with gas mixtures and engines and stuff like that. You just plug this in. Great to clean off your porch, your patio, your car. And Raylan, who's going to win that? And the lucky winner is 896. 896. Anna Zimmerman has won the power washer. Anna Zimmerman. Number three, please. Um, Sharp Navigator vacuum cleaner. Thank you. Sharp is becoming one of the most popular brands of vacuum cleaners today on the market. It's compact, it's light, it does a great job of cleaning. But even more importantly, this shock navigator is great for pet hair. So all that nasty pet hair that at times when your, your dog or your cat sheds, this will be able to clean it up. And Braylon, who won the shark? And the lucky winner of the shark is 1138. 1138. 1,138. Mr. Fox is affixing all of the packages, the winner, so that we guarantee you'll get the prize. Diane Joe. Diane and Joe. The winner is Diane and Joe for the Shark Navigator vacuum cleaner. Diane and Joe. Number four, Jen. Uh, six quart instant pot programmable pressure cooker and a $100 Walmart gift card. Okay, uh, where's the instant pot? The instant pot's right here. The instant pot is becoming one of the best tools in your kitchen today, which can serve as a, a pressure cooker, can also steam your vegetables, multifunctional. So we have a wonderful uh, Instant Pot. I believe it's four quarts. No, it is six quarts. And uh, also coming along with it is a hundred dollar Walmart gift card. So uh, a wonderful gift there. Raylan, who gets the Instant Pot? And the winner is 985, or I'm sorry, excuse me, social error, 895, 895. Anna Zimmerman. Anna Zimmerman gets the Instapot. Way to go, Anna. I'm sure that's going to make your cooking a whole heck of a lot easier. Congratulations and God bless. Number five. Apple Watch. The O. The highly contested Apple Watch that everybody wants to have today. It pairs with your Apple phone or your iPad and uh, a multiple wonderful tasks. Uh, this particular model is close to $450, and uh, we want to thank the parishioners that got together to get it. So, Braylon, I know you're excited for that one, but if we pull your number, we'll have to put you in the drum.
And the winner of the Apple Watch is 1169. 1169 is the winner of the Apple Watch. Jamie Joy is the winner of the Apple Watch. Congratulations, Jamie. What a wonderful gift. The Apple Watch is the watch of the future. Jamie Joy. Number six, Apple iPad with 10.2 inch screen. Okay. Another wonderful tool for today. The Apple iPad, a gift from a very special family. A uh, family that's really up in their technology. This is the latest app iPad that's out there on the market with a beautiful screen. And so we're grateful that this donation is here. But even more importantly, this donation is coming to our lucky winner. Raylan, who won the iPad? And the winner of the iPad is 352. 352. Zaharis. The winner of the iPad is Zaharis. The winner of the iPad is Zaharis. Oh, the wonderful KitchenAid Mixer. Right down here, a five-quart KitchenAid Mixer valued at $385. and I believe $85. This is a beauty, especially for all you bakers. It comes with the dough hook, it comes with the mixer, it comes with the potato paddler. A great gift if you like to cook and make wonderful things. So Braylon, who is the lucky winner of the KitchenAid? The winner of the KitchenAid is 716. 716. Briar. The winner of the KitchenAid is Briar. How do you spell that? B-R-I-A-R. -R. Okay, Briar is the winner of the KitchenAid. Super gift. Number eight, kayak with ore plus a $50 Dunham's gift card. Okay, we got a wonderful kayak. Nice travel down the Schuylkill, take up the Locust Lake, take the Tuscarora. There have been more kayaks sold in Schuylkill County this past year, especially during the pandemic. A very popular gift to relax and enjoy yourself being socially distanced. So we have the kayak with a Dunham gift card. The winner of the kayak is 1283. 1283. Judy Barkett. Judy Barkett, congratulations. We hope to see you kayaking on Locust Lake. Turn the barrel. Turn the barrel. Oh. Turn. We want to spin the barrel again. Hold on. All right, Braylon, give it another turn and let's let's give the tickets to the, the numbers and one more chance. Miss Braylon. All right, what are we up to there, Jen? Number nine, Judy and Bork purse. Oh, 
Oh, a Dooney and Burke purse. $325 value for all you wonderful fashionistas out there. Uh, it's alligator, kind of cool. Nice purse for your night out in the town. Dooney and Burke purse. And the winner of the Dooney and Burke purse is 602. 602. John Franco. John Franco. You won a Dooney and Burke purse for your significant other. So congratulations. Number 10, $200 money tree. The $200 money tree. Right up here. Reminds me of that wonderful Christmas card story from or the Christmas story by Peanuts where Lucy wants tens and twenties. Well, we don't have any tens or we don't have any tens in this tree. All we have are twenties and fifties. And this beautiful handmade ribbon wreath uh, tree. So even after you use your money, you have a nice Christmas decoration to fall back upon. Raylan, who's getting two hundred dollars cash? And the winner of the $200 money tree, 497. 497. Ann Kettner got the $200 money tree. Ann Kettner. Ready? Number 11, $200 cash. $200 cash. Well, we have that in a gift bag here somewhere. But trust me, it's here. $200 cash. And Braylon, if you want to pick the, uh, the prize for $200 cash. Number 12, $200 cash. And the number for $200 cash is $1189. $1189 for the $200 cash. Christmas is coming. Always nice to have a little bit of extra cash. And Mr. Fox has the bag. And Mr. Fox will attach the name once we learn who it is. Marianne Hinchy. Marianne Hinchy, $200 cash. Way to go, Marianne. Number 12, $200 Walmart gift card. $200 Walmart gift card. Up here in the pretty pink bag. $200 gifts to Walmart. Once again, the Walmart store up in the Cold Plaza, the Cold Creek Plaza. Lots of good things, groceries, gifts, clothes. And Raylan has picked 353 for the, uh, the Walmart gift card. same family but uh, they're lucky winners they might be the same person that won before number 13 
number 13, $200 Number 13, a $200 Boscov's gift card. Once again, one of our finer department stores here in the county, employing a lot of people. Very grateful for Al Boscov. May he rest in peace for all the contributions of taking care of us in Schuylkill County. And Braylon is picking a chip now for the $200 gift card. And the winner of the $200 Boscov gift card is $200 Boscov's gift card. Harold Long. Carol. 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 I'm sorry, not Harold. Carol. C A R O L. Uh, $14, $200 Boyer's gift card. A $200 Boyer gift card is the next prize that we're going to give away. Number 14. The purple bag right here. Mr. Fox, you look good in purple. So your shopping pleasure at Boyers. I want you to know the Boyers out in Yorkville is where I worked my entire career before I became a priest. Wonderful store. It was an acme then. 1268 is the winner of the $200 Boyer gift card. 1268. Eileen Barlow just is the winner of a $200 Boyer gift card. Congratulations, Eileen. Uh, 15 is a $200 giant gift card. 15 is a $200 giant gift card. Nice place to be. Giant just moved down to the Tresona Mall. But a very fine place to be, and when you go down there, say hello to the deli manager, Patty Kelly, dear friend of mine. The giant gift card goes to 477, 477, the winner of the giant gift card. Lawn Bell. Oh, 
Pat Lumbell. Pat Lumbell works with Joe Ellen, Boston Area School District, in the Academic Center office. The $200 Amazon gift card. All righty, next number, please. Number 17 is the Toshiba 43-inch Smart TV. Okay, what a great gift to have. You know, the big old bulky TVs are now gone. And now we got these wonderful flat screens. And this is a Smart TV, so it'll be able to work off of your computer to do different things, play games with your kids, along with the variety of packages that you could do for movies. And the winner of the 43-inch Smart TV is Mary Ann Hinshi. Mary Ann Hinshi, the winner of the flat screen TV. Congratulations, Mary Ann. Lots of nice evenings watching movies and your favorite programming. And if you're computer savvy, you can watch all kinds of things. Home family movies. Number 18 is the Holy Stone HS720 drone. All right, everybody's big in the droning today. And here's a drone. Great gift. Ages 16 and up, four kilobytes. And it can record things. So, what do we got, Braylon? You want a drone? 398. The winner of the drone is 398. If you win the drone, you could launch it over Nanny's house and watch whatever she does. You know, see when Santa Claus drops by and check out your Christmas presents. Sharon Stednitz. Sharon Stednitz won the drone. Congratulations, Sharon. Lots of pleasure recording things from on high. Maybe Channel 16 might even hire you for local news in Schuylkill County. Number 19, Barberware, Nonstick, Pots and Pans, and $100 Marlin Markets gift card. Okay. We have a $100 value for Farberware, Farberware Pots and Pans, a medium grade, a great grade of pots and pans to cook, but even better, my favorite butcher shop, Marlin Markets, where you can go and get a lot of great meat. And we want to thank Marlin Markets for uh, their help with getting all the eye roasts and taking good care of Eileen, which made our scrumptious roast beef sandwiches. You haven't lived until you ate a Elaine your birdie hot roast beef sandwich and then, of course, her husband Larry's homemade hand-cut french fries. The winner of the Farmerware and the $100 Marlin Markets is 337 337 How are we doing, Braylon? Good. Mal won the pots and pans. Draw another number. And, Draw another number. And uh, the $100 gift certificate. Draw another number. Uh, no, I don't think we're going to do that. That means, no. Elaine, we don't want Mal cooking for us, do we? Draw well, maybe you could, give it, you could give it to Elaine and she'll cook it for us. 
Congratulations, Mel. Number 20 is the Yeti Tundra 45 hard case cooler. All right. Yeti is the Cadillac of coolers today. At one time, when Mr. Fox and I were young, everything used to be Coleman, and how we used to long to do Coleman camping. Now it's Yeti. And this is guaranteed to keep ice, uh, your cold products cold for a very long time with minimal ice. A $300 value, a great gift. So the winner of the Yeti cooler is 887. 887. M. Skarbinski won the Yeti. M. Skarbini, uh, Skarbinski won the Yeti. Great gift. Congratulations, M. Skarbinski. On a 21 Yeti Nature lunchbox, 30-ounce tumbler, 14-ounce stainless mug, and two Yeti ice boxes. So, Joellen, yeah. when, when you go to work, you bring a bag your lunch? Yeah. Wouldn't it be neat if you could have this Yeti, this Yeti lunch, lunch bag? It comes with two one-pound blocks of ice, which you can keep. One will, one will suffice. You eat one cold, and you know the next day trade them out. You got this stainless steel coffee mug, guaranteed to keep your coffee hot, and it also has the lid, so you don't spill it all over yourself. And then you have this wonderful 30-ounce tumbler. Guaranteed, just like the mug to keep things hot, guaranteed to keep things cold. $200 value, Yeti lunchbox. I wouldn't mind even having that for myself. 783 wins the Yeti lunchbox. 783. Capella won the Yeti lunchbox. Capella won the Yeti lunchbox. Congratulations, Capella family. If it's the Capella family, I think it is. They're all going to be fighting over it because there's like five in the family. Uh, 22 Cousin Art 14 Cup food processor. All right. The Cuisin Art food processor. You know, the other day we had part of the Apple Fest is we had homemade soup and uh, I got to sample some of that homemade soup and Mike Bunknock made homemade chicken soup. I never saw chicken and onions and carrots and celery cut so fine, but it really was great soup. I don't think even this can do a great job like Mike Mucknock, but in the same regards, I wish I had one of these for my kitchen. I do a lot of cooking to help prepare a lot of vegetables. And the winner of the food processor by Cuisinart is 624. 624. You know, we're getting into hunting season, and bird season's coming up pretty quickly. A bunch of my buddies, they decided that all these years, they were uh, going to finally invest in a bird dog. And so they went hunting, and they go to this place that rents bird dogs. They agree on a price, and they ask the guy, what's the dog's name? And the dog's name was Father. And so they went out, and this was the best bird dog they ever had. Talk about, you know, doing what the job of bird dogs should do. 
The next day, year, they go back. They ask for father again. Another great year of hunting. Second year, go back. They ask for father. Three great years of hunting. The fourth year, they go back, and the owner says, oh, no, I can't give you a father anymore. Father's not all together with it. And one of the guys said, well, what happened? Did somebody wing the dog, and now the dog is shy? And he said, no, some stupid person went and called him on senior, and now I can't get a lick of work out of him. <laughs> Linda Galvern is the winner of the Cuisinart food processor. Linda Galvern. one of these multiple purpose uh, brewers uh, and actually can fill one of those big mugs almost like we got with this Yeti here along with making a pot of coffee and a bunch of other things there's some great mugs and a French press if you're going to get in some fancy coffee making and then of course it comes with a variety of coffee to make it with so Braylon what do we have for the coffee maker the winner is 485. 485. There was this priest that wanted to play hooky one Sunday. And so he decided that he was going to call in sick, and he calls his dean and he says, I'm definitely sick, and uh, could you get somebody to cover my masses for the weekend? So the dean dutifully does his job, finds the, someone, another priest, to say the mass, but that priest did tell the dean that he was going off to play golf. Well, lo and behold, this guy's out in the golf course on a Sunday morning, and it's the best game of golf he ever shot. And all of a sudden, St. Peter's up in heaven saying to Jesus, you know, Lord, why are you allowing this priest to play the greatest game of golf he ever played in his life? And Jesus laughed and he said, it might be the greatest game of golf he played in his life, but who's he going to be able to tell it to on a Sunday? <laughs> Come on, you can laugh a little louder. What do we got? Diane Hayes. Diane Haney got the coffee machine. Thank you, Diane, for patronizing us, and we hope you have a nice, relaxed cup of coffee on us. Number 24, rocking chair with cushion. Oh, this is one of my favorite, a Cracker Barrel rocker. When you go to Cracker Barrel, don't you always want to sit in those rockers? They are great chairs that can go in the inside of the house, the outside of the house, and nothing is more comforting after a stressful day than rocking back and forth. 243 is the winner of the rocker. 243. Mr. Fox is giving it a try out there. Dolores Konitsky won the rocker. Way to go, Doe. Doris Konitsky from over there in Port Carbon. Congratulations on winning the rocker. That will look nice on your porch. 25 is the Mother of Pearl Necklace by Gabriel of New York. Ooh. This 
comes from Murphy Jewelers. We have a famous Murphy bow right here. Murphy Jewelers, one of our fine jewelry shops in town, went to school with Pat Murphy. And this is a beautiful $300 mother of pearl necklace. So wouldn't this look nice on some significant other? 994. 994 for the Murphy's $300 necklace. Messner. Ooh, Messner won the necklace. Messner won the necklace. So, I believe that's the Messner who I think it is. I'm not going to say, but uh, I'm sure uh, her mother-in-law might be very, or her mother might be very happy to know that she won that Murphy's necklace. Yeah. She has no clue. She's in there finishing dinner. Number 26 is St. Clair Dining. $50 TNT, $50 OIP, $50 Georgia, mm -hmm. and $50 Tommy Oh. Hey, this is one of my favorite gifts because you see me in all these places. Yeah. The fine dining in St. Clair, from Tommy's Chili, to the fine meals at OIP, to the wonderful hoagies and subs at Giorgio's. So, and the winner is 1131. 1131. Sarah won the right on the town in St. Clair, the dining, St. Clair dining. Sarah is the winner. Number 27 is the Nintendo Switch. Oh, a, high, a highly desired item by every teenager and junior high kid here in Schuylkill County. Nintendo Switch, and this is the one that, the expensive one that you can actually put up on your TV screen. And mess up your parents' cable and drive them crazy. No, it works pretty easy. So the Nintendo Switch. Raylan, what are you going to do if you draw your number? Three hundred and forty-nine. Raylan said she'd put it back. She'd give it back to the parish. Three hundred and forty-nine for the Nintendo Switch. She said Christmas is coming. She'd like someone else to be able to win that nice gift. Bubble C. Dawn Marks. Dawn Marks <laughs> won the Nintendo Switch. Dawn Marks won the Nintendo Switch. All righty. Hey, you know, WeatherTech is really becoming a, very popular for their floor mats, but look at this. They even have a weather kit thing on wheels and they can lock. It has a whole cleaning kit inside from sponges to chamois to shampoo. There's extra chamois here. And then you've got all kinds of products to go and clean your car tires with. That's a $225 value, and I wouldn't even mind having that for my car. Mr. Fox, would you like this for your car, or do you just take it to the car wash anymore? I'll take that. All right, Mr. Fox will take that. So if I win it, I'm going to give it to Mr. Fox. $1,172. $1,172 for the WeatherTech car wash kit. We are coming around the clubhouse turn here, boys and girls. 
Only a few more prizes to go for our big prizes. And then we're going to be into all the other good prizes. Give it a whirl there, Braylon. One last time. Get some lucky winners here. Jamie Joy won the WeatherTech car cleaning kit. Jamie Joy, the WeatherTech car cleaning kit. Now, Braylon, we want you to know that you know we're videotaping all of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a copy made, and we're going to send it down to the Lottery Commission, and maybe you could get a job someday pulling numbers for the daily number. I mean, why not? <laughs> 29 is Okay. This is another wonderful gift that I myself would not mind having. It's quite compact. In here, you get a very durable shovel and snow scraper, a uh, collapsible shovel so that it fits nice in your trunk. Recommended by AAA. There's a road emergency bag here, having everything from red traffic uh, in lights to let you know that you're disabled, a traffic vest, a little bit of a first aid kit, a nice gift to have. And then, of course, what can you do unless you have gas to get around? So we have some gas cards here. So another great gift. And the winner is 236. 236. Carrie Klinger, the winner of the emergency winner car kit. Carrie Klinger. Number 30, Spirit of the Season decoration and $100 gift certificate to the front door. Okay. Hey, you know, florists in Schuylkill County are really becoming scarce, and why nothing against the supermarkets that are selling flowers but you know sometimes it's always really nice to have some real quality flowers and some real quality arrangements for you to send to your loved one for a birthday or a holiday or an anniversary or a remembrance so this comes from the front door florist proprietor is Kim Cooperavich we have a beautiful Christmas wreath to hang on your door. There is this wonderful little tree. There is a doormat to wipe your feet on. And in addition to all of that, the wreath, the tree, and the mat is a $200 value. But we also have a $100 gift certificate that Kim has given for flower arrangements. So you can break that $100 up into two $50 arrangements, one for Thanksgiving, one for Christmas. Once again, front door florist in our own backyard, Port Carbon, Pennsylvania. Remember to patronize locally. And the winner is 361. 361. After the last joke, I don't know if I should tell anymore, but with all the dead air, I'm going to call my, yeah, I'm not going to quit my day job, but I might call my classmate Kathy Guzik up here and we'll sing our alma mater from high school. You know, we can still sing our alma mater, we know the words. Crowd class of 1976. Yeah, everything we had was red, white, and blue. Yeah. Stan and Peggy. Stan and Peggy have won oh, nice. the uh, 
the floral arrangements from the front door florist, Stan and Peggy. The ones I'm thinking of, their neighbors right over here across the street. They'll certainly enjoy it. So congratulations, Stan and Peggy. Number 31 is the Friday Night Runs, $50 sheets. $50 Home Depot, $50 Wise Markets, and $50 Walmart. Okay, the Friday Night Run, sponsored by the Knights of Columbus. What do you do on a Friday night? Well, you got to take the wife shopping for groceries, and then she's going to say we need to go to Home Depot for the honeydew list tomorrow, and then, of course, you need to go and buy gas for the car, and then by that time you're, you're kind of hungry, or you might need groceries. So then there's a gift card for, for Walmart. So the $200 Friday night run sponsored by the Knights of Columbus. And the winner is 876. 876. No, that goes from the other. And Peggy. Well, that goes, that goes over here. Okay. Yep. Eight seventy-six. Carol. Carol won the Friday night on the town. Way to go, Carol. Get something to eat, get gas, go to Lowe's, go to Walmart. You gotta cook it all in one Friday night. Number 32 is the waterproof speaker and a $100 iTunes card. Okay, once again, another wonderful gift, especially for our young people, but a uh, Bluetooth waterproof speaker that you can put your iPhone away or your Samsung phone safely away and have all your sound come over it. And then, of course, we got iTunes cards that you can go and purchase some tunes to put on your playlist. The winner is 283, 283. <coughs> One more, please. Lawrence Cooper Avish won the, uh, the, the speaker. <coughs> that part keeps falling off. Yeah. I think Florence is probably going to give this to one of her grandkids. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's good. Florence is going to say, I don't have blue teeth. <laughs> <coughs> Thirty-three is $200 cash. All right, and that's the last prize, right, Jen? Yes. $200 cash. Once again, we had a lot of money flying through here, so $200 cash, number 33. Number 34 is the Bowling Green Bowling Green Bowling Green. And the lucky winner of $200 cash is 946 946 Congratulations, M. Durant. Sounds like a tuition <laughs> payment to me. M. Durant, congratulations. $200 cash. They are all our big prizes, and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the program over to my lovely co-host, better than Vanna White, Oh. Joanne Geith, who will uh, let you know if you won one of these 33 prizes, how you might be able to possibly come and get it, and then we'll have our last three drawings. Well, 
what we're going to do is we're going to notify you by phone, and we will be here Tuesday night between 6 and 8 at the hall for you to pick up. If you have any problems with not being able to pick up at that time, maybe you could call the rectory and we can set something else up. Okay, now we're... Joellen, can you stop once? Oh, I don't yeah, know what... sure. Never mind. It, it yeah. stopped, but I got to start it again. Okay. Okay, next we'll be drawing for the lottery jar. There's $1,200 worth of lottery tickets in there. Bill Shockle, 544-0167. So Bill Shockle won the lottery draw. <clears throat> and the last is going to be for the 50-50, and that will be worth $1,022. Irene M. 785-0235. Okay, Irene M. Okay, that's it. Thank you everybody for patronizing our Apple Dumpling Fest. Uh, next year at this time we hope to be COVID free and go back to our familiar format of a fall fest with the Chinese auction and a lot of great prizes and a lot of great food, but we do appreciate you during these difficult times being able to benefit us and uh, to help us maintain our mission here as a parish. Come here, Joelle, one more time. Yes. yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. What? All right. Good night. Sleep tight and pleasant right. dreams to you. Here's a wish and a prayer that your dreams come true and when oh. our hearts meet again wave adios au revoir <laughs> off eaters aim thank you